am Lindsay, founder of My Better Batch, and today we are making chocolate cherry cookies. These cookies are loaded with semi-sweet chocolate chunks, they are packed with dried cherries, and they are filled with chocolate. This sounds like a lot, huh? Well, you will be happy to find out that this recipe is so simple. We're gonna use My Better Batch chocolate chunk cookie mix as our base, and with a few simple additions, we are gonna have a cookie that tastes like you spent all day in the kitchen. Are you ready? Let's get baking. For this recipe, you'll need one box of My Better Batch chocolate chunk cookie mix, prepared according to package instructions with one large egg and six tablespoons of unsalted butter, soften. In addition, you'll need one cup of dried cherries and one cup of dark chocolate melting wafers. Let's preheat the oven to 375 degrees and get started. As I mentioned, I've made this over the top recipe so simple by starting with my chocolate chunk cookie mix. So in the base of my stand mixer with the paddle attachment, I will add my chocolate chunk cookie mix, egg, and unsalted butter. We're just gonna turn that mixer on medium low speed and allow these ingredients to fully incorporate. Would you believe me if I told you that the hard part was over? Although I'm using my stand mixer today, you could use a hand mixer or mix by hand. If you're mixing by hand, it's simple. Just add your ingredients to a medium sized mixing bowl, stir to combine, and roll up those sleeves and hand knead the dough just like this. Once the dough is fully combined, we'll add one cup of dry cherries and turn the stand mixer back on low speed and allow these cherries to fully mix into the dough. Your dough is ready when it looks like this. Use a cookie scoop or a spoon to scoop about two tablespoons of dough onto a parchment lined cookie sheet. Your dough will be about an inch and a half in diameter and should be placed on the cookie sheet about two and a half inches apart. Now you could stop here and throw these cookies right into the oven and they would look and taste spectacular. But today we're gonna fill our cookies with some additional chocolate. Who doesn't like more chocolate? To do this, you will flatten the two tablespoon cookie dough ball in the palm of your hand, just like this, and place two to three chocolate melting wafers inside. I like to use Ghirardelli brand since they're small and easy to work with. Once your melting wafers are placed inside, you will form the dough around the chocolate and roll into a ball, just like this. Make sure the chocolate wafers are fully covered. These cookies are ready to head into the oven that we've preheated to 375 degrees. They're gonna bake for about nine to 11 minutes or until the edges are set. Now I prefer my cookies slightly underbaked versus slightly overbaked. So I tend to start watching them at about the eight minute mark. Our cookies are fully baked and take a look at how pretty these look. I promise they taste even better than they look. I'm just gonna allow the cookies to cool for about five minutes and then remove them to a cooling rack. This decadent chocolate cherry cookie came together in no time at all using My Better Batch chocolate chunk cookie mix and a few simple additions. Quick, simple, and oh so delicious. This is one cookie that I prefer to eat right out of the oven while it's warm. It's got that gooey chocolate filled center and it's a little messy too. It is absolutely irresistible. If you can't find My Better Batch chocolate chunk cookie mix on your local grocery store shelves, be sure to check out our website for this and all of our cookie mix flavors. I'm Lindsay with My Better Batch. Thanks for baking with me today.